it's a good day to be farming. A little boy with a Thomas book says, read this please and gives me that look. He is the reason. He is the reason. I'm a country music artist, so I try to uh, be creative, write songs, network. I'm out here today helping Farm Rescue uh, outside of Bronson, Iowa. They're the reason I don't get down. This old world kicks me around. They're the reason I make it through. The reason I keep going when I don't want to. I'm ready to give up the fight They'll say, Daddy, do you want to play? I'm dog tired, but I can't wait The farmer was hit by a tornado uh, two weeks ago and then took his house off the foundation was right up there on that ridge uh, busted all the windows out of his combine so we're up here helping him get Get his crops in. Uh, a lot of this corn is pushed over. Uh, in one minute it's going this way, and the next minute it's going that way. I mean, you can tell a tornado came through here and just pushed it all down. Uh, with uh, it being where this sits, it's a river valley. This used to be a river valley back in the day before the dams and everything. So it's, it's wet. Uh, there was some rain the other day, and they haven't had. Uh, they haven't had. A dry spell for more than two or three days out here, so we're fighting quite a few little elements, but we're getting her done. RDO equipment is just—it's just amazing. It's uh, it's this John Deere here uh, is just phenomenal but I mean it just it makes it easy and RDO has been such a great uh, sponsor for uh, farm rescue it's uh, yeah it, it could, there's no way it, it couldn't be done without them it's really just it's really that simple in my opinion He was standing on the sidelines Wearing that tryout uniform uh, Levi and the other volunteers have been great. Uh, every, every one of them I met, uh, they just, they're just amazing. Um, Danielle, I mean, and just all of them. Their personalities are great. Uh, Levi today hopped in the combine. I think he could actually probably draw from memory every bolt every nook and every cranny uh, that a combine has on it and know exactly what that part is for. Um, yeah, he's just been a lot of fun, a great teacher. And uh, Danielle, wonderful gal, uh, she's in constant contact with us. It, it's just it's just been wonderful. Bill, uh, when I first met him, uh, even every time I meet Bill, you know, you just, you just really get a sense that you're with somebody that, that I feel is really, he just really has a, a focus uh, on helping others that uh, is kind of addictive. I mean, it just, it just really is. Touchdown in a small town My boy that once wore those double zeros They won Touchdown in a small town. You know, I mean, America needs farmers. This is where your food comes from. This is this is how it happens. 
they don't always have it as easy as everybody thinks. You know, they see see them driving new trucks or see them out there with a a nice grain truck or a big huge combine, and then they look online and see what those costs, and they think they're doing all right, but that's just the cost of doing the work. Twenty dollars and a mama's purse bought us a tank of gas and some red man tobacco in. We were just teenage kids. Yeah, me and my old buddy and wild, we'd go driving around if there was trouble to be found. Man, we dang sure did. I think the main thing to pull away from this is it takes it take sponsors because you know it costs money to get these things on the road it takes money to keep them working uh, thank God for RDO uh, that, that just takes takes care of a huge part of that the other part would just be the manpower I mean these things pretty much run uh, run themselves once you get them straightened out you push auto and it goes but it takes a guy behind this wheel it takes somebody you know to be running the, the the grain buggy back and forth between here and the silos, or the here and the grain exchange. I mean, so manpower, sponsorship. The other thing is just getting the word out. Uh, farmers, they don't like asking for help, and uh, even when they really, really, really need it, they just they just don't. So I think the thing is, like in this situation, uh, the farmer. We was told that there was another farm that called in to, to ask for help for this farmer. That's awesome. Uh, and we asked him, well, how'd you find out about it? And I think he said he looked it up online or heard something about it. That's the thing is getting the word out about it. Uh, even if you can't volunteer or you can't sponsor, make a donation. Word of mouth is, is priceless these days. With you, you read something online, you don't know what, what to believe anymore. But if somebody tells you, hey, you, you need to look these people up, these guys are legit. They love to help farmers out. They're there to help. That's, that's worth a million dollars right there. Use your Facebook. Uh, get the word out in the Midwest and just let them know that the Farm Rescue is there to help. Yeah, that was us. That was us.